This is the Bujinkan Nami Ryu Dojo. We train in Harold's Cross in Dublin, and we have a few of our friends here with us as well today. Um, we're going to give you a presentation of the martial art we practice, which is called Budo Taijutsu or Ninpo Taijutsu. Um, it's a form of Kobudo, it's an old style martial art, and it takes teachings from um, pre Meiji Restoration samurai uh, martial arts. Uh, influenced through the philosophy of ninjutsu or ninpo and uh, it has an interesting mix of old style and modern uh, old style martial arts applied to a modern context so it's kind of unusual normally it's you get sort of one or the other Are we all here <laughs> yes but we'll find out if we start something and there's someone missing uh, okay so I'm going to not talk that much during this presentation but what I'll do is explain briefly some of the context to what you're seeing and um, the names of the weapons, that kind of thing. So, with that, let's begin. Tom and Andrea are wearing yoroi, which is a style of Japanese armor. Typically, this would be worn uh, when fighting in an armed context, but today we're starting with some unarmed fighting or taijutsu, use of the body. <laughs> This is called Yoroi Kumiuchi, or grappling in armor. The purpose of it is to pin somebody down so you can throw a sidearm. And, uh, yeah, that. <laughs> The material you're looking at is drawn from a school of martial arts called the Kukishinden Ryu. It's a complete Sogo Bujutsu that incorporates Kumiuchi, Taijutsu, and the use of many different kinds of weapons. Armored grappling would typically take place in a context where one or both people were disarmed or had their weapons broken and would need to close the distance and complete the, uh, complete the fight. Okay, thank you very much. The next presentation is of Muto Dori Taihenjutsu, which is the use of uh, skillful rolling to evade an attack with a sword. That's what happens when it rains on your mat. <laughs> So next we will see some applications of Roku Shaku Bojutsu, the use of the six foot staff in this context against a Bokuto or a wooden sword. Here it is, the sword fighting. Stick fighting. Once again, this material is also drawn from Kukishinden Ryu. Okay. 
So next we will see some more unarmed taijutsu. Uh, this is from the Gyoko Ryu and it's a set of basic techniques oh, that we practice nice. in the Bujin Khan. Everybody practices them. There's eight in total and they contain a variety of ideas about striking and grappling. <laughs> You're right, she is being mean to that man. I wonder why. Silly dog. Okay, thank you very much. That was the Kihan Hapo of Gyokuru Yukoshi Thank you. So next we will see some Naginata. Naginata is a form of Japanese pole arm. Um, it can range in size from seven to nine feet. It's typically a short sword blade on the end of a staff. Thank you very much, Ray. So, one of the key parts of our martial art is having the ability to adapt it, uh, to make it versatile. Uh, improvisation is considered an important part of it. So, poor Glenn is just having a little sit down, he's not bothering anybody. <laughs> <laughs> hey! uh, nobody can defeat. They just beat each other. <laughs> uh, there's, why is there three now? Next we will see uh, some use of the three-foot staff, the San Shaku bow or handball.
Why is she always here? Okay, now is some more use of armor. Yeah, the sandbags. Ooh, the swords. Hope it doesn't cut him or anything. Don't cut him. Fighting in armor is largely an, an exercise in managing the strengths and weaknesses of the armor. More than a suit of clothing, it's actually a form of a weapon in itself. To be able to use it effectively, you have to have good underlying body movement, but also understand where the strong and weak parts of the armor are, how to protect the weaknesses, take advantage of the strengths, and meanwhile exploit the opponent's situation. Ah! Some jobs just require the right tool. <laughs> this giant hammer is called an old sushi, and it's uh, originally something used for taking down doors. So it's not very commonly used on battlefields, but they were present uh, as a sort of a, a tool. Use a hammer. Ah, destroy him. <laughs> Being able to I fall safely and correctly in, in Yoroi is a skill of its own. There is a wood sword. A it's quite different from unarmed fighting. Ukemi. Banana for a sword. A wooden hammer. Likewise, large and heavy weapons can sometimes be very valuable if the opponent is armed, is armoured, but they're hard to use, so you need to be able to move around the weapon rather than just use strength to manipulate it. Yeah. Ah. Take the sword off me. Take the and hammer. Do you know where my mom's gone? How is it? Let's try that again. Okay, everybody, that concludes our demonstration. One thing left to do. Nissan. Yes! Thank you very much. I appreciate your time and attention. Thanks to Aiden and the organizers for asking us to take part. See you next year.